Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, we will explore a new way to build intelligent applications leveraging the Power Platform. This new experience is known as Plan Designer. We and a suite of agents will work together. We will describe the business problem. The agents will work with us to define the user roles, the business requirements, the data model, the process diagram, and will help build the applications, automations, agents, and more. End-to-end -end experience in action. Let's check this video out. The Plan Designer. This is a copilot first development tool that helps us create end-to-end -end business solutions quickly. You simply describe your business use case in natural language. You can add relevant images, screenshots of apps, your business process flows, and Plan Designer will generate a complete Power Platform solution tailored to your needs. Let's describe our scenario to Plan Designer. I need a solution that helps employees easily record their vacation hours. The app should have a simple way to send vacation requests to managers for approvals automatically. Employees can check the status of the vacation requests. Managers can see and manage all requests in one place. Note, Plan Designer is generally available. There are certain aspects of the Plan Designer that are in preview. These are add-on features like the new process diagram feature. I'll include the preview features for this scenario and start Plan Designer. Immediately, Plan Agents spring into action. The Plan Designer comes with multiple AI assistants that will work with you on your business problem the first agent that kicks in is the requirements agent. This interprets the business problem and it uses AI to generate user requirements. Here is the business problem. Here are the business requirements. This broken down by user roles. For my use case, there are two roles identified, employee and manager. Each user role includes a description and the user needs. All of this is fully customizable. I can click on edit, go and make changes directly in line here or continue engaging with the copilot to make modifications. I can add new user roles, update existing user roles, delete user requirements and more. I'll go ahead and accept the user requirements that are generated by the requirements agent. The process agent generates process diagrams. Note how two processes have been identified by the process agent. These process diagrams make our business process clearer to understand. So for the employee vacation management process, the employee records vacation hours. They submit their vacation request, sends it to the manager. Manager reviews the request, says approve or reject, and so and so forth. This as well is completely customizable. Back to the plan designer. The third agent in line is the data agent. The data agent suggests the data model. These are the tables that will be used to store and provide information for our solution. Note, these are only table suggestions and you have full power to decide the data model. I can either accept the data model generated by the agent or click edit to continue working with the data agent to make modifications to the data model. One of my favorite options here is show details, which 
will take us to the data workspace where we can visualize the tables that are going to be created, the names of the columns, and it highlights the relationships between the tables. For any table, if you go to ellipses and view data, we can also view the sample data that Copilot has generated for us. Now for the vocation request table, I would like to add a column for the request description. Here as well, in line in the data workspace experience, we have Copilot. Let's give commands to Copilot. Add a text column for request description. And Copilot easily goes ahead and does that. You can work with the Copilot to make modifications to your data model, or you can also make the modifications manually. Here for the demo, I'll keep it simple. I'll go ahead and remove all the supporting tables and just limit it to a single table to begin with, which is vocation request. This is where employees will plug in their request title, description, start date, and end date. I need the status to be tracked. I've said add a column to track the request status, make it type choice. There we go. For every record that gets created in this vacation request table, there is the created by column that has the information of the individual who created the record. That's the employee. The manager data, I would like to bring it from Microsoft Entra. Here, you can also bring in data from existing tables, your business data. In this scenario, I'll grab the existing user table that has all my users from Microsoft Entra synced over to this table. And now for the vacation request table, I'll ask Copilot to create a column called manager of type lookup to user table. This straight out will create a relationship between the vocation request table and the user table. I could have also easily done that by simply selecting the vocation request table, drag the point to the user table and formulate the relationship. My data model is done. I'll click back. Here I can save to a solution, vocation tracker, save and leave. Back to the plan designer. Here is the data model. I'll say looks good. And now the next agent springs into action, which is the solution agent. This is the agent that defines the technologies that it recommends to solve the business problem. Whether it's Canvas apps, model driven apps, Power Automate flows, Power BI dashboards, agents, and more. At this moment, it's simply suggesting. None of these are created yet. I'll say looks good. Next step, it will ask me to save my tables. So the data agent at this point starts creating those tables based on the data model defined. Imagine trying to create a solution like this from scratch on your own. Here, I have a set of powerful agents that are working with me on my plan, which is an artifact now that is solution aware. Think about it as your living, breathing document of your entire solution. That is solution aware. Here is my vocation hours tracker main solution. You can see we have a new artifact, the plan. I can view the data model. Here is the plan designer. The tables are created. Now I simply need to go and start creating the artifacts that I need. For employees to log their vacation requests, plan designer is recommending a Canvas app. 
I can click create, maybe replace it with an existing app that I have, or maybe you would want to create a model driven power app. You have a choice to decide. In this case, I'll simply say create. So this will now begin bootstrapping a canvas power app, fully responsive, connected to the tables and dataverse related to this plan. And at this moment, Copilot is working behind the scenes to create this power app. Here is the vacation request screen, supports full CRUD operations. I can create a new vacation request. I'll go ahead and publish this app. The app's being saved and published. Done. I'll close this tab. You can see how this lights up, highlighting the fact that an app has been created in the solution. For managers to view, approve, and manage all vacation requests, it's recommending a model driven app. Let's go ahead and create this. Now begins the process of creating a model driven app for managers to take action on the vacation requests. List of users. These are the vacation requests. I'll go ahead and publish this model driven power app. Done. I'll close the tab. That's activated. I can make further modifications. At this point, these apps, you have full control to make any modifications of your choice. Power Automate. New vacation request. I want a flow to notify managers when a new request is created. I click create. This will take me to Power Automate where I can work with Copilot here to create my automation. I can continue describing more details, frame my automation and create my workflow. Here can also go back to Copilot and ask it to create an agent for tracking the vacation requests. Here, I'll say keep. There's a suggestion to create an agent. This will create an agent in Microsoft Copilot Studio. An agent that will be grounded in knowledge coming from the Dataverse tables of the plan. And here is the agent. The agent name, the description, the instructions are all based upon the business problem that we stated. The knowledge is grounded in our business data, which would be coming from the vacation request table. I can also add additional knowledge sources. Let's ask the agent a question. How many vacation requests are pending? It's now connecting to our knowledge source, which in this case is the vacation request table. And it brings me the response that there are two pending vacation requests. And we can continue working with the plan designer, continue modifying our user requirements, continue updating our data model, adding or updating the tech required to support your use case. All of this is solution aware. Back to the Power Apps Maker portal. If I head over to plans, here is my vacation hours tracker plan. If I go to solutions, here is my vacation hours tracker solution that has all the artifacts, including the plan, as part of the solution object. Apps, flows, agents, connection references, sitemaps, tables, all packaged as part of a solution, which now I can easily transport over from my development environment to my test and production ecosystem. I can use the magic of pipelines and power platform to start deploying my solution to my downstream environments. This will also move the plan along with the solution. Plus, 
I can also get the advantage of source control by simply connecting the solution to Git, wherein version control will take effect in Azure DevOps. This is the future of application development. Let's call this intelligent applications. It's you working with a set of agents to create an end-to-end -end solution based on a business problem that you describe. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.